Praise the Lord, everyone, and good morning. Truly, we thank you and we honor God on this morning, amen, for another day. Amen. amen. Another day to be able to see his goodness, his grace, and his mercy. Another day to be alive. Can anybody, just wherever you are, just begin to give God a praise for today and the goodness and grace that he's had on your life specifically amen we truly thank god and we honor him this morning our hearts are glad this morning those of you that are in the sanctuary with us amen we thank god for you those of you that are supporting us amen and this program and the church through your giving through e-church and through our social media and youtube outlets we just say we just thank god for you amen and what god is continuing to do in your life amen 
Amen. This morning, our scripture reading is going to come from Psalm 8. And I don't know wherever you are, we just like for you to be able to have reverence of the reading of the Lord's word. And I would say for those of you, amen, that you stand. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set the glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and suckling hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies. Thou hast mightiest uh, still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider thy heavens and work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visiteth him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet. All sheep, all oxen, yea, and the beast of the field, the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea. And whatsoever passes through the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Amen. Let us pray. Oh, gracious Father, we come, O oh God, thanking you for your mercies that you have bestowed upon us, O oh God, on this day, O oh God. Lord, we just want to say thank you, Lord. Lord, we ask you right now, Lord, to be with those, Father God, that's in the nursing homes and hospitals, O oh God. O oh God, we ask you, Lord God, just to have mercy upon them in a special way, O oh God. Lord, we ask you right now, Lord, to be with our bishop, O oh God, our first lady, oh God, hallelujah. Lord, be with our church members, oh God. Lord, we ask you to touch them in a special way. Oh God, oh God, be with our praise team, oh God. Be with our musicians, oh God, hallelujah. Be with all them, Father God, that just don't know you, oh God. Lord, we ask you right now, Lord God, just to have mercy. Lord, we thank you and we honor you, Lord. We magnify your name, oh God. Lord, we ask you right now, Lord, to be with our children, oh God. Continue, Father God, to give them what they stand in the need of, oh God. Lord, we praise you. We honor you when we magnify your name, oh God. Lord, we ask it all right now. In your son Jesus' name we pray, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We honor you, God. We thank you, God, for the opportunity to be in your house of worship. We thank you, God, for all those that have gathered online today. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, we just reverence you, God. Come on, come on, give him glory. Give him honor. He's worthy. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Come on, say it with me. All the glory belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. We'll sing it again. All the glory belongs. All the glory belongs to you. To you. All the glory belongs to you, oh God. Come on, lift it up. The highest praise, and we say.
All the glory belongs. All the glory belongs to you. To you. All the glory belongs to you. Oh God. God. Sing it one more time. All the glory belongs. All the glory belongs to you. To you. All the glory belongs to you. Oh God. God. Yes. All the glory belongs. All the glory belongs to you. To you. All the glory belongs to you. Oh God. Lord, 
Lord our God is omnipotent. Come on, the Lord our God is the Lord our yes, God. He is. he is one. Come on, back to the top one more time. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation. Salvation and glory. Honor and power. Honor and power unto the Lord our God. For the Lord our God is mighty. For the Lord our God is almighty. The Lord our God is. Yes, the Lord our God is omnipotent. The Lord our God. The Lord our God. Rejoice, 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 
for the Lord, for the Lord our God is an awesome ruler, our Father. Yes, come on. Lord, our Father. Worship creates. Worship creates an atmosphere for miracles to appear. And there's a praise. And there's a praise that moves the heart. Of God and causes grace to flow. Come on, put on the garment of praise. Put on the garment of praise. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands and give Him glory. This is the day God has made. Come on, let us rejoice. Let us rejoice. Rejoice for the Lord. For the Lord our God is an awesome ruler, our Father, our Father. Come on, for the Lord our God, for the Lord our God is an awesome ruler, our Father, our Father. Come on, for the Lord our God, for the Lord our God is an Ruler, our Father, our Father. For the Lord our God is an awesome ruler, our Father, our Father. Come on, worship. Worship creates an atmosphere for miracles. To occur, and there's a place that moves the heart of God and causes grace to flow. Hallelujah! Oh, yeah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Uh, amen. 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 One of the best praise teams in the United States. Let's give them a... Amen. God is so good. God is so good. Look at somebody and say, God is so good. This is the day the Lord have made and we will rejoice and be glad. God is a wonderful God. He keep on making ways and taking care of us. I give him praise. I give him honor. I thank him for this day. For this is the day the Lord has made, and we will what? Rejoice and be what? Amen. You know, it's a wonderful thing to be able to stand and say God is good. Because the enemy fights. He gets in the way to try to cause us to say something negative. But God is good. I'm going to use for a subject today, amen, I think it's appropriate for today, you can trust God. Can I get a witness? You can trust God. Amen. It is important and imperative that we remember that no matter what happens, God is just a prayer of way. And the writer says that he sought the Lord. He pursued the Lord and the Lord delivered him. And one of the things we have to do if we're going to be successful is remember God's past faithfulness. You know, you know what I mean when I say his past faithfulness? Has God been good to anybody in here? When I think about what God has done, I have to say that the Lord is good. When I recognize the fact that uh, God gives me the opportunity to pray, hallelujah, and to come and remembering that there's power in prayer. There is power in prayer. The writer says, I sought the Lord. Have you ever sought the Lord? Look for him and ask him, and it appeared because the enemy 
wanted us to think that the Lord wasn't around. Uh, and and the, the, the writer says in, in 2 Chronicles, he says, he said, I sought the Lord and I, I focused on God and not the problems. Can I get a witness? Sometimes we need to understand that we have to focus on who God is. God is awesome. He's powerful. He's a way maker. Hallelujah. He's a burden bearer. Hallelujah. Whatever I need him to do, he will do it. So I focus on God. Look at your neighbor and say, focus on God and not the problem. Because my God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask or think. I, I need somebody here uh, that, that want a miracle in their family to say miracle. miracle. Yes. Amen. God told me to tell somebody that there is a miracle uh, coming your way. If you can just believe and uh, Know that there's power in prayer. And the Bible says, Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be opened. I wonder today, do you believe God? If you believe God will work a miracle, just wave at me just one time. Amen. Amen. It's important for us to know that God is still working miracles. Hallelujah. Instead of giving up, hallelujah. Second Chronicles tells us to seek the Lord. The, the writer says, I sought the Lord. And I, I didn't focus on the problem. I focused on the Lord. Can I get a witness here today? Hallelujah. And, and what helps me with that is I remember his faithfulness. Has God ever did anything for anybody here? Amen. If he did, just wave at me and say, yes, he did. Amen. And I remember God's past faithfulness. Hallelujah. He's been there for me before in my life. Hallelujah. And I've come to understand that I can depend on God. Can I get a witness? Uh, I can depend on God. I, I can depend on God. You know what helps me to digest that is that there is power in prayer, uh, the Bible says, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be open. I wonder if there anybody here today that had to ask God to say, Lord, help me get through this. I don't know what to do. You ever been there? You are you a smart person. I, I, I have to acknowledge that you are a very intelligent person. But sometimes the Bible says the enemy fights, and, and the Bible is clear with the scripture that supports us in that. The Bible says, when the enemy comes in like a what? Flood. The spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. So uh, uh, prayer is something uh, that we need to keep as a part of our uh, everyday uh, life. I'm going to use for a subject today, uh, you can... Trust God. Look at your neighbor and say, you can trust God. Hallelujah. I am a witness that you can trust him. Hallelujah. He, because he has been there for me. And what makes me know that is I come to the conclusion that no matter what happens in my life, all things are working for my what? Oh, hallelujah. It's working for my good. Sometimes the Bible wants us to know that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. The Spirit of the Lord, even though the enemy comes in because the enemy is going to fight. Hallelujah. Uh, but I have made up my mind, and I want somebody to say with me, I'm not a quitter. Amen. I'm going to trust God. I'm going to stand on his word. I'm going to believe his word. Hallelujah. So I'm using for a, 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 a subject today. You can trust God. Now, one of the things that we have to do in order to, uh, for this to be real in our life is to take God at his word. The Bible is clear. The Bible says nothing 
catches God by surprise. Can I get a witness? Uh, I don't care what's happening in your life. I don't care what happened to your family or whatever happened. Hallelujah. We need to know that nothing catches the Lord by surprise. Uh, uh, we have to know that God is in control at what? All times. Uh, no matter what's happening. And I'm challenging somebody here today to know that no matter what's happening in your life, God told me to tell you, he's got control of it. He's got control of it. Hallelujah. Even when it seems like things are out of control, the Lord told me to tell somebody that he's in control. He controls your body. He controls your finances. He's in control of your mind. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, God is in control. And nothing catches him by surprise. And that's why, hallelujah, uh, we have to learn to meditate on his word. Because uh, his word says, hallelujah, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he'll strengthen our heart, strengthen our mind. Hallelujah. Uh, one of the things uh, that believers must uh, embrace in this day and time that we are living in, we have to ask God to teach us how to stay young and useful, believing God, walking by faith, walking by faith, say, I believe God, because he told me he would never leave me. He told me he would never forsake me. Hallelujah. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Uh, there's, a pa there's a passage of scripture here I, I want us to read just for uh, uh, just a little part of it. Uh, uh, turn your Bibles to uh, Psalms 92. Psalms 92. Psalms 92. Uh, we're going to begin at verse number 12. Psalms 92, verse number 12. Psalms 92, verse number, number 12. Uh, this is a, a, a powerful scripture, so I, so I want you to uh, grasp it. Uh, you might need to write it down, because when you, when you get home, you might want to read it again. Psalms 92, the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. Oh, goodness. Did anybody hear that? The righteous shall flourish like like a palm. You know, a palm can take a lot of beating. You see them uh, when the storm, they bend, bend, bend this way, bend that way. You think it's going over. When the storm over, it's standing up. Can I get a witness? The righteous. I, I, I want you all to hear this today. Uh, the righteous, verse 12, uh, Psalms 92, the righteous shall flourish. He, he, he's not saying you're going to just barely get by, but he said the righteous shall flourish. That means you're going to do well uh, like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. In the hottest place, in the rainiest place, in the most difficult places, hallelujah, you are going to make it. And, and the Lord told me to tell somebody here today, if you don't hear nothing else I say today, uh, hear this. You can trust the Lord. You can trust Jesus. You can trust God. Amen. And you need to know that. Why is it I need to know that? Why is it you need to know that? Because there are going to be coming things that will challenge us. That's why the Bible says when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Let me re read that verse uh, again for you. The righteous shall flourish. You know what flourish means? Do well. Somebody say, we barely made it. We barely did this. We barely was able to get through that. But the Bible makes a promise to somebody that's listening to me today, somebody that's in here today. Uh, he says, the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. Uh, he shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. 
in difficult places where there's not enough water when the storm's coming through. The Lord told me to tell somebody today, hallelujah, you can trust God because the righteous shall flourish. You know what flourish means? Flourish don't mean just barely make it. Flourish means you're going to do well. Somebody wave at me and say, I know that's right. Hallelujah. God got a word for somebody here today, and each of us should accept it as a word for us. No matter what come our way, the Bible said, if we do what's right, we, we, we're not going to barely make it. Oh, I wish somebody heard that. I wish somebody heard that. He, he's saying that you're going to do more than just barely make it. Sometimes you go through things and you say, oh, my God, I don't know how we made it. We barely made it out of this. No, but God got a word for somebody here today. And what he's saying is you are going to flourish. What does flourish mean? Things are going to be well. He's going to set before you an open door. He's going to bless your going in and your coming out. He's going to send you blessings that you didn't think would ever come your way. I wish somebody would tell the Lord, thank you. Uh, the righteous shall flourish. That means do very well. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. The cedar growing in Lebanon is a tough place because it's a place where it's dry and not a lot of resources. But God told me to tell somebody today that no matter what happens or no matter what's going on, he says he's got blessings coming your way. And that's why I chose for this subject today, you can trust God. You can trust Jesus because if he said it, he's going to do it. If he promised it, he's going to bring it to pass. Can I get a witness in here? Somebody here need to know today that no matter what come or no matter what happen, you can trust God. Hallelujah. And some of you, hallelujah, may be listening to me by radio, uh, need to know that you need to ask. Sometimes we're just waiting on something. That, I'm just waiting on something to happen. I, I just, I just, uh, don't, don't know what I'm doing. I'm just waiting. Ask. The Bible says, ask and it shall begin. Seeking you shall find, knocking the door shall be open. Believe God for your miracle. How many of y'all believe God got miracles with your name on it? I, you have to believe that. And that's why this uh, verse of scripture is, is, is so important. The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. See, the palm can get through the storm. He shall grow like a cedar 11, we're a place where there's not a lot of resources. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish. Did you hear that? Shall flourish in the court of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. God's talking to somebody to show that the Lord is upright, to show that the Lord is good. To show that he's going to do what he's saying. He is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Listen to this statement I'm fixing to make for you to, to digest for a moment. Nothing catches Jesus by surprise. Anybody believe that? You may not know what's going to happen, but nothing catches Jesus by surprise. Hallelujah. How do we prepare for that? We prepare by praying because God is in control. I pray and ask God to bless, ask God to open doors, ask God to give me the right insight, to give me the right vision, to help me to read the right scripture and grab hold to it and believe that God is able. Uh, there's a saying that uh, I've heard quite often and, and we need to adopt it. Obey God and leave the what? Consequences to him. Hallelujah. I got to obey him. Hallelujah. Stand on his word. Hallelujah. I've got to say to myself, God has a purpose for my life. God knows what he's doing. So there are three things that I need to do as I go through this journey in life. Hallelujah. I got to keep working, keep laboring. Uh, hallelujah. 
Number two, keep leaning. That means keep trusting him. Uh, number three, keep listening because he's got a word. My sheep will hear my voice. So those three things that we need to embrace, keep working, keep laboring, keep learning, and keep listening. I'm listening for the voice of the Lord because he has a plan for my life. How many of y'all believe God has a plan for your life? How many of y'all believe God has a plan for your life? Now, how do you do? And God wants us to uh, adopt a, a saying that we read in the Bible and, and uh, 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 we don't take it at heart. The Bible says, let the weak say that I'm what? I got to say, if you, if, if you believe you got some power, you just wave at me just one time. Amen. Uh, God has given you power and authority. And he says in his word, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. No weapon. Nothing, nothing will be able to stop you. Hallelujah. Uh, God said, I have the power. So that means I got to work while it's there. I got to keep on working, keep on believing, because if you're not careful, the enemy will talk to you and begin to tell you, you ain't going to make it. But the devil is a what? Hallelujah. Sometimes we have to slow down when we're going through stuff. Sometimes we may not move as fast as we want to. Sometimes things don't go the way we want. But we have to know that God has a day and a time. He has predestined you to be the head and not the tail. He predestined you to be an overcomer and not a loser. I, and you have to know that. I've got to keep on going. You know what? I have to be careful who I expect it from because sometimes I want the, uh, Sister, Sister Blue over here to encourage me. And, and uh, 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 you don't know it, but she going through something worse than you. Are you listening? So I've got, I've got to uh, take God as word. That's why the subject, uh, the title for this message is, You Can Trust the Lord. You can trust God. You can trust Jesus. If he said it, he will do it because nothing catches him by surprise. Isn't that wonderful? It's, it's, it's a wonderful thing to have a storm coming down the road and, and, and uh, uh, the Lord tell you, uh, uh, turn right here. Because the storm coming that way, I want you to go around that way. God know what he's doing. Sometimes we think that uh, uh, we are just out there lost, but hallelujah, the Bible is clear. Uh, never seen the righteous forsaken. All right, seed begging bread. God is faithful. He'll do what he said he's going to do. He'll do it every time. I, I just need somebody to say I am blessed. Yeah. So uh, we have to practice uh, living the word and staying in the word and understand that there's certain things that we got to do. Let me, let me tell you something simple that, that uh, uh, people need to practice from time to time. Things come, it, it, you know the enemy sent something at you and, and uh, what you need to do sometimes is just laugh at it. Because you know this too will what? Pass. I'm going to get through it. I wish somebody could say I'm going to get through this. And if you can say that to your children and to your spouses and to your brothers and sisters, there will be victory. Somebody tell the Lord that. So they're, they're to, to stay where God wants us to be, to stay where God has a place for us, where God wants to use us, there, there are some things that as I studied this message, I, I, I wrote down. To, to stay where God wants us to be, number one, I've got to keep learning. I got to keep learning. Learn the word of God. Somebody say, learn what? L learn the word of God. God will keep his word. Uh, I I'll give you one he said, and we, we, we question it. Never seen the righteous what? Forsaken our seed. That tells me uh, uh, I'm going to be all right. I'm going to survive. And, and, and if we can teach our children to say that, we can teach our family to say that, we will be able to survive. Keep learning. Reading the words. Study that 
Show yourself approved unto God, a workman that need not to be ashamed. I've got to learn the word of God. So when the enemy comes up, I spit it out. The enemy can't stand against the word of God. I got to learn the word. And the other thing I got to do is learn that the word says I've got to keep loving. When the enemy comes to fight me, when somebody does something that I don't quite understand, I, I got to let it go, give it to God. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. And there's some things in life we got to learn to just laugh at. But have you ever, you ever seen somebody oh, messing with somebody that was bigger than them, stronger than them, smarter than them? You ask yourself, why is he doing that? Is he suicidal? And you know what? You have to know when God uh, sends you a blessing, when God speaks to you, when the enemy comes in like a flood, you know the spirit of the Lord is going to lift up a standard. I wish I could get two people to say, I know that's right. God told me to tell somebody today that he's got blessings with your name on it. And you got to learn to thank him in advance. You got to learn to understand that I'm going to believe that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above. You got to keep on working and do what he called you to do because you have been chosen by God to make a difference. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. You got to learn to keep listening to his word as he speaks to you. You know the Lord will speak to you while you're going through. He'll tell you fret not yourself because of that. It's going to soon be past it's going to soon be gone. You have to trust God. You have to. And you got to keep believing and keep dreaming and keep seeing the Lord working. There, 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 are, there are times in our life uh, uh, when the enemy, the Bible, this is scripture, when the enemy comes in like a what? Flood. I can't let that get me off. I got to know that God is able. He's going to see me through. And I can't go and look for a pity group. Are you listening to me? Sometimes uh, the, uh, the pity group will cause you to doubt God. Hallelujah. So I've got to keep dreaming. I've got to keep believing. I've got to look toward the future because I know the Lord said he'd never leave me. He said he'd never forsake me. He said he'd make the darkness light before me. He said whatever is wrong, he said he'd make it right. I've got to believe that God is able and God will not lie. Can I get a witness? Then I've got to keep working. i got to work while it's day because night is coming. Hallelujah. I got to know that God has a time. And I got to tell the devil, this too will pass. And what I'm talking about today, and I've said it several times, what I'm talking about today is the requirements for trusting God. If you're going to trust God, you can't get the opinion of everybody. It, was that too tough to swallow? If I'm going to get the pain, if God tells you that you're going to survive, you're going to make it. He's going to make the darkness light before you. Whatever's wrong, he's going to make it right. You got to believe him. Even though somebody might, you might hear something on the news. You might, uh, somebody on the job said, well, they, 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 they finna lay us off. They finna do this. They finna do that. You have to know what God promised you. Somebody tell, that's why the title of this message is you can trust the Lord Jesus. Uh, he said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'll be with you always. Hallelujah. I'll do whatever I said. So don't fret. Don't worry. Hallelujah. Just hang in there and believe God and walk by faith and not by sight. The other thing you can't do is you can't talk to everybody about what you're going through. That's tough. That's tough because we feel like we need to tell somebody. Hallelujah. But the, 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 the three things, basically, that the believer must do in order to trust God. Three things. Remember these three things. I've got to listen to the voice of the Lord. Number two, I've got to trust him. And then I've got to surrender to him. Somebody said, oh, my God, that's tough. But he said, I'll never leave you. He said, I'll never forsake you. He said, I'll be with you. He said, I'll be with you to the end. He said, I'll make the darkness light before you. 
uh, in your study time, uh, read uh, Acts chapter 5 and, and look at how God worked. Uh, uh, the three things again, uh, listen, I got to listen, I got to trust him, and then I got to surrender to him. I got to know that he has a plan. Because the truth is that all things work together for what? How many of y'all believe that? No matter what's going on. Uh, so I've got to stay in the faith. i got to know that God has a purpose for my life. And listen to this. This is a tough piece here. But uh, God has a purpose for what he's allowing you to go through. And I say, why? Somebody else need to hear your testimony. You might not uh, can, can tell them your whole story, but you need to be able to say, honey, I know the Lord will make a way. I know the Lord will see you through. I know the Lord will do what he said because somebody needs to hear from you because every, every, everybody else give it up on them. But somebody needs to hear that the Lord will make a way somehow. And God is in control. Hallelujah. And we have to keep on praying because everything that's happening in the believer's life is working for his what? Anybody believe that? Wave at me. The Bible says all things. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? All things. Hallelujah. Uh, whatever he allows to happen, it may be a little bit bitter, but it has a purpose. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Uh, God is in control, and what he's giving you is a testimony. So you can see somebody going through, and the Lord will tell you, go to that person and just tell them I'm praying for you. Some say, well, maybe I need to find out what's going on with him. No, no, he didn't say that. Do we need to know everything? No. But he might say, go to that person and just tell them, I am praying for you. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Because you can trust God, and that's the title of this message today. You can trust God to make a way for you to get through whatever you're going through. You, you, he will make it. Uh, what we have to do is obey God and leave the consequences to him. Yeah. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. thank you. So three things we need to do in order to complete this task. We need to keep working, keep leaning on the Lord, and keep listening to the Lord. Uh, somebody need to remember that and, and, and just put it on a piece of paper and uh, every day this week, just read it. I got to keep working. I got to keep leaning on the Lord. I got to keep listening to the Lord. Hallelujah. And because nothing catches Jesus by surprise. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. This country, this world is going through stuff and, and, and we, we are in the midst of a, a, a situation that uh, we've never been in before. The country is just having all kind of problems uh, with finances, with uh, weather, hallelujah, with uh, just problems, problems, problems. But God told me to tell somebody, hang in there. Weeping will only endure for the night. Joy will come in the morning. I, I wish you look at somebody, I point at somebody and say, you're going to be all right. You're going you, 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 to be all right. God has a purpose. So now what must I do in order to get through uh, this uh, difficult time that uh, uh, this country is going through. You know, if you listen to the news, they will uh, paint a grim picture. Uh, one day they'll tell you things are getting better, and the next day they'll say, no, things things not moving yet. So how do you, uh, the requirements to get through this part is to learn to hear the voice of the Lord and then trust the voice of the Lord. Then number three, surrender to the voice of the Lord. 
And we have to know that if I do what the Lord said, listen to him, trust him, and surrender to him. And, 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 and what I got to say to him is, thy will be done. Because I know nothing catches you by surprise. Are you blessed? God is in control. And remember, all things work together for good. God has a purpose for your life. Listen to this. The Lord told me to tell you this. You make a difference. You make a difference. You make a difference. God is going to see you through. Let us pray. Father, thank you for this day. The country is going through so much. People are suffering. People are going through. But you want us to know today and remember this one thing that you can trust the Lord. You can trust him because he said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. The storms may come. Sickness may come. Financial issues may come. But you can trust God. I wish I could get somebody to say, I'm going to be all right. Come on, somebody else say it again. I'm going to be all right. Because I trust God. I'm going to meditate on his word. I'm going to stand on his word. And nothing will come against me that he cannot handle. Uh, there's a saying, obey God and leave the consequences to him. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Father, thank you this day for this message today. Because somebody here, listen to this. Somebody here is going to be asked to encourage somebody else. Because you know that what you have been through, God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you ask or think. And I want you to know that no matter what happened with this country, or with this uh, time we're living in, God has a plan to see you through. I, if you believe that, just wave at me. Uh, I, I, I wish I'd get somebody to say, I'm going to be all right. Come on, look at somebody and say, I'm going to be all right. Now, now tell somebody, we're going to be all right. My family's going to be all right. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for this time today that you've given us with this subject today and this message today. You can trust the Lord. Bless us now. Keep us, guide us, and direct us. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. As we prepare now to lift our offering, remember God loves a cheerful giver, and he has a plan for us. And I want you to pray for God's people everywhere that we might survive. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. 